Hi, you're watching BK Hobby, and today we're going to connect the Cube multi sensor we've built in the previous videos to the OpenHab home automation system, graph the data from it, and calibrate it so it matches the temperature of the heating air conditioning system thermostat. First, let's make sure that the sensor we configured in the last video is actually connected to our Wi Fi network and sending temperature and humidity data. To do this, we'll use a Mosquito client. My favorite is mqtt.fx because it's easy to configure and use. I'll assume that you already have a Mosquito broker set up for OpenHab and we'll connect our instance of mqtt.fx to it. Now that we're connected to the Mosquito broker, we need to subscribe to the topic for the sensor so we can receive messages from it. Click on the subscribe tab. Now if you only have the new sensor sending out data, you can type in pound and hit subscribe which will show you all the messages being published to your mosquito broker I have a lot of these sensors and other mosquito publishers on my network so this would show too many messages instead I'll subscribe directly to the message topic we configured for the sensor in part 2 of this series I will copy the topic we configured in Arduino prior to loading firmware onto our node MCU sensor board I'll copy the temperature topic only, since I'm pretty sure if it works, all of the other topics will most likely work as well. Pasting the topic into mqtt.fx and hitting subscribe, I should see a new message after a few moments, since the sensor sends its temperature report every minute. We see a message here with the payload, a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So I know the sensor is working and publishing data to my mosquito broker. What we need to do now is add items to our OpenHab configuration to pull in the temperature and humidity data from our sensor. The item definition includes a mosquito binding configuration string which shows an input from a specified topic. We just need to make sure this topic matches what we put into our Arduino code. I've added this item to a few groups including the room the sensor is located in as well as a chart group. More on this later. Please note that rather than copying these strings from the video, you can click on the link I'll post in the video description that will take you to the OpenHab form topic I've created for this sensor. All of the OpenHab specific file entries are located there for you to easily copy. Okay, now for the chart. If this is the first sensor you're connecting, you will also want to create the items for the chart highlighted here. Adding the sensor to the sitemap is very easy. You only need to specify the text string with the item corresponding to the sensor. Adding the chart is a little more involved, but these are the sitemap entries required for a simple chart and a few buttons to change the chart period between hour, day, or week. After saving the items and the sitemap files, your new sensor's temperature and humidity values should start showing on both the user interface as well as the chart. This completes the sensor initial setup, but now we will want to calibrate it to make sure it's reporting correct values. Since I'm using these sensors to compare the environmental conditions in different rooms of my house with those in the dining room where my HVAC thermostat is located, I want to make sure the sensor matches the temperature shown on the thermostat. The DHT22 sensor requires a bit of calibration and the fact it is in an enclosure with the node MCU does mean that there's a few degrees of error introduced to the reading. The good news is that the error is very linear across the range we use these for, so we can apply a simple offset to get the correct temperature. What you will want to do with a new sensor is power it up and leave it running for a few days in the same room as your thermostat. Then, after it has been running for a few days, open your temperature chart and compare the temperature reported by your sensor with the one your thermostat reported. The difference in those temperatures will be the offset you want to add to the sensor code. For example, if my sensor temperature is 2 degrees lower than the thermostats, I'll want to add 2 degrees to the current temperature offset shown in the Arduino code. The same applies for the humidity reading. In Arduino, I've highlighted the two values that are used by the code to calibrate the sensor. Modify these by the amount you've come up with from your own calibration run, and reload the code onto your sensor. If you want, you can let the sensor run for a few more days in the same room as your thermostat, just to make sure it's reporting correctly now. Once you're satisfied, mount the sensor in its correct place and monitor temperature in different parts of your house. Right now, I use the reported values from the sensor to calibrate my HVAC system 
by opening and closing registers in each room I have a sensor in. In the future, I want to modify my registers with servos to automatically open and close, to set target temperatures for each room individually, and create new sensors to monitor my HVAC system performance. Effectively, this will turn my single zone HVAC system into a multi-zone system and hopefully save some energy costs in the process. So if you're interested in following along with the next steps in this project, go ahead and subscribe by hitting my channel icon in the lower right corner or the big red button below the video. Comment below if you have any other ideas for this multi-sensor or other questions I can answer. Here are some other videos to watch on my channel. Until next time, this is BK Hobby. Thank you for watching.